Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Rising tune! No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. I'm a little lucky. I got the motherboard, but launch day, the AMD gods did not provide. At least not for this venture, possibly for future endeavors. Uh, but as far as Ryzen 2 goes, I'm stuck ordering it like a chump. Now, I already have mine on order, and Amazon says they're going to ship it today. But since my embargo lifts for this motherboard, I thought I would go out of my way to do something different. I'm going to see, can Ryzen 7 1700 overclock better, do any better, I know this chip very, very well, with that motherboard, with an upgrade to the X470 format. So we have a board here, we got a test bench, we got uh, oh, stickers, all this kind of stuff, a guitar pick, um, wish I wouldn't have done that. So this board has Wi-Fi, it has uh, temperature probes, it's got all the nice best bells and whistles, upgrades over the previous iteration of the Aorus Gaming X370 would be additional uh, M.2 slots. Boom! And uh, well, before we do anything, look at that VRM! That is a beefy ass VRM with active cooling, some legit fins that you can see, and like, you know, there's a copper heat pipe running through it. There's actually extra power running to it too. Oh, it looks very, very nice. Extra M.2. Uh, it's got, let me see here, what else? Uh, one, oh, Wi Fi is added, and uh, yeah, cool. Well, let's go ahead and put her on the test bench, and we're going to go ahead and uh, put the old baby in here so we can run a few last tests. Where's the little, oh, there we go. We can run a few last tests on the 1700 what has been my workhorse what basically started the the channel looking into uh some crazy oh, look at that nice back plate there some crazy stuff and uh this what started um you know the, the channel here i uh, at least going pc tech stuff originally i was doing kind of just like tech reviews of anything and i didn't think i was worthy enough to get into the pc space uh and then um I got some older hardware and really started to uh, you know get my interest back up and uh, here we are today 45,000 subscribers gigabyte themselves sending me advanced hardware uh, you know and, and I'm just ecstatic that I get to play around with so much cool stuff all the time I'm gonna go ahead and get this all installed maybe see if I can't get uh, well just while we're talking here <laughs> The elephant in the room, the ugliest GTX 1080 Ti. I finally got one. Guess how much I paid for this? I paid 1,000 dollars used. It's even missing freaking screws and stuff. No backplate, blower style, not even a reference model. MSI uh, GeForce Aero Gaming 1080 Ti. And you know what? That's awesome because uh, that's like what? 800 and some American that's a good price for a 1080 Ti they are uh, definitely especially this climate uh, you know I know it's kind of ramping down now but uh, go for well over uh, $800 American new so to pick one up you know and not have to pay taxes or shipping or anything like that it's pretty cool and I did that so that I had a proper uh, video card to test the new Ryzen with uh, Got an M.2 here for it as well. So what are we gonna do? Let's put <clears throat> the the old CP. Oh, it's not gonna reach. I can't believe that. Cram it with walnuts. We'll be back. I gotta switch this AIO around. And then well, you know what? I'm gonna save you the trouble of me babbling through setting this up. It's just gonna be done in three, two, one. There we go. I switched it out. I got it all figured out. We got her set up. It's ready. It's go time. I just, I have no idea if this is even supposed to work. I would assume so. But 
Yeah. So, oh, sweet. That easy. Ha! Boom! So that was the IEIO that I, I put on here. I used to have uh, an Arctic one on there, but I don't have the freaking AM4 mount. I couldn't find it anywhere. But this one, uh, it's, you know, almost as good. Intermax, Lick Tech, or whatever. So, XMP. Easy. No. We're going to go XMP profile. 3200. 3. Uh, I'm going to go 3.9. Uh, right off the hop, because, I mean, if it can't do 3.9, what's the point? Uh, yes. Now, I have Windows. Uh, maybe there's Windows on that NVMe drive? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it's working, so that's pretty cool. And I want to thank Gigabyte for sending the motherboard over to me. That is amazing. Uh, boot, improper boot device. Let's do that thing where I click my fingers and we're ready to go. Okay, so we've got uh, it's just the default settings. I have no idea what the BIOS version is. I have no idea about anything. All I know is it's working and we're clocked here at uh, 3.9 gigahertz. Uh, at what was set in the BIOS 1.42 volts, which is the max. Uh, I figured we would see if this works and then dial it back from there. Looks like she's going pretty dang fast. There is probably a case also to see if uh, XFR works better in this particular situation. Uh, but, uh, oh man, it's nice to see a nice fast Cinebench run after the like, crappy quad core, core two quads I've been playing with lately. <laughs> it's just like, boom! Oh, 1721 out of the box at 3.9 gigahertz. That's a good result. Um, so, you know, over 17, and, you know, with hardware uh, monitor running, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead. Um, we'll see if there's a BIOS update to apply and, uh, if we can bump her a little higher. What are we on right now? System BIOS version F3 Charlie. I think that's actually, yeah, that BIOS dates from March 12th. So there was an, another BIOS on there. But it wouldn't let me download it, so we're not too, too bad. So uh, let's just bump the frequency up to 3.95 and see how that plays. Oh, well, 3.9, we're stuck. Wow. Well, that answers my question. That's pretty much where... That's, that's worse than my Ryzen. I can do 3.9 at that voltage. On that motherboard so that's interesting I wonder what I could change this has been gigabyte ARS gaming review on the original Ryzen I guess we'll try one more time you could bump it up to two four point two five I could also turn you know put some active cooling on the VRM um, you know, I got a fan right here so that's gonna be loud and annoying but we'll do it All right, LLC is set. The pump's set to max. We have active VRM cooling. Loud, 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 loud active VRM cooling. We'll just check our temperatures, and then, you know what? I just, I don't have much more for you guys today until my Ryzen 2 shows up. So it's, you know, idling under 40 degrees. The temperature should not be the problem, especially with this loud motherfucker on there. All right, we have LLC working hard on turbo. We have volts going 1.41 volts is not enough volts. Which is weird. At least it's working this time. So we got 4 1.44 volts. That's There we go. 1752, not bad at all. Let's do one more pass at 4 gigahertz. Just to give it a little help, since the temps are in check, I'm going to bump her up here. What's our ambience? Oh, not bad. Package temperature, 36 degrees. Cross your fingers. Freeze! Oh, freeze! Ah, 
Yeah. Let's shut this off. So, my friends, thank you for coming on this wild ride with me. We're using the original Ryzen on the new chipset, the X470. I want to thank Gigabyte for letting me use their motherboard and throw their motherboard box on the ground. As always, I want to thank uh, Ballistics for sending me memory that I use in these systems. Uh, I put some cool RGB memory I'll review, be reviewing soon over there. And uh, you know what? I just want to thank you guys for coming. Though we'll be rising to overclocking. You can go check out Hardware Unboxed or Gamers Nexus for all your gaming benchmarks. When I get my hands on the Ryzen 2 chip, the 2700X, we will be exploring overclocking in a lot more depth than I just did on this very motherboard because i'm very interested to see the ipc gains it's you know you know factoring 10 percent of what most people are saying in there that'll put your uh you know cinebench run well over 1800 which will be pretty cool it would be interesting if it went even further than that but here's the new test bench with the ryzen on it i'll put that chip back in there get her back rolling so we can edit some videos i hope you like that water cooling voodoo computer i did yesterday i mean that's a freaking awesome cool video if you like that stuff you can always support me on patreon and uh you know what subscribe because the more that number goes up the more companies like gigabyte and you know will we'll send me product reviews which is fun uh but I'm, I'm more concerned with being on launch day for the next ryzen or intel chip uh and it's it's getting to that point it's it's almost got to that point here i have the motherboard i just had to pay for the chip myself so see you guys in another video thanks very much uh ryzen x470 in its current iteration with its current uh you know uh bios it's just it's going to be limited by what your silicon lottery winnings were and i don't see that it overclocks any better than its brethren the x370 board that's right behind me I do recommend these boards, though. They're very good shit. So see you guys later. Woo!